first thing I do is I just push the feet out like laterally this way to stretch, you know, um, to open out this way. And then I do the opposite. And then you can also like stack stack one foot on top of the other this way and do the same thing. This kind of stretches out some of the tibialis uh, the here, the, the muscles on the front of the shin. Stack the other way. And then you can dorsiflex the foot, meaning um, you know flex the foot back this way. So you can just like kind of put your feet hands or fingers right at the ball of the foot so that you're also um, extending the toes back. Okay, so just grab this way and then just kind of lean forward. Again, try to go within limits of the patient. This is working more like the stretching more of the calf muscles behind them. Yeah? And then we do the opposite, which is um, <coughs> more like plantar flexion, so straight down. So you just put your hands on the top of the patient's foot and push down in this way. So just to simplify it, it's just like a cross. You know, you're you're going out, in. When you go in, there, you know, you stack different ways and stuff like that. But basically out, in, and then up and down. You know, just to take the foot to the cardinal um, points. Okay? From there, I just go on to move, uh, working on one foot at a time. So here, you know, at this point, you can just go into more of like the rubbing. Okay. Now, um, <coughs> I don't, <coughs> I don't always work on the sole in this position because some, you know, I, I try to work on the sole in the prone position. But uh, a lot of people are more comfortable um, working on the sole in this position, and that's fine. Um, usually, uh, like, you know, biomechanically or whatever, if it feels uh, awkward to um, be so high over a part of the body that you want to work on. So if possible, um, what I like to do actually is get, you know, get at the same level, and it, it, just, it just feels more comfortable instead of me. Um, also, I can see what I'm doing uh, more easily. Uh, so, you know, instead of doing this kind of work, um, if I'm going to be spending a lot of time on one part of the body, I just try to get down to the same level. So you can follow along kind of the same line. So when we were working on this, um, the sole of the foot when the patient was prone, we did like the inner line, like more of the instep, um, middle line, and then a lateral line. I mean, that's just a, you know, a recommendation. You can actually cover the whole sole of the foot in any pattern you want to, but um, you, you definitely should at least cover those three lines. So, you know, you can start off somewhere on the sole, um, close to the heel, and then I'm trying to work more of the instep here, yeah? So I'm using, like, a lot of um, thumb pressure and kneading. Okay. If you feel more comfortable, um, you can use your knuckles. I, I like to, um, again, I, I always like to use my thumbs. Thumbs of steel. Yeah. But, um, you know, you can definitely use, like, your knuckles. And then, um, you know, you don't have to just stick to uh, doing, like, kneading techniques. Um, you know, a, a good thing to do is to try, dip, like, almost like pushing. You know, you put pressure and then you add a um, vector to it, just so that you can create more uh, length in the sole of the foot. So one good thing to do is just like, um, you know, apply pressure. And sometimes it's good to apply some kind of lubricant, but usually on the foot it's not that bad. Um, my left hand can kind of serve as more like an anchor, and that allows my right hand to kind of slide up this way. Yeah. It's going right into an arch. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. And then sometimes, like, it's hard to use my right hand on all parts of the foot evenly, like, because as I start getting more to the lateral side, like, you know, I, 
I don't know, this kind of gets to be an awkward hand position, so I might just use my left hand instead to to um, work on more the middle of the foot, yeah? But, you know, that's just to give you an idea about things you can do. You do also, you don't have to just work uh, like longitudinally this way. Um, especially on the ball of the foot, it's good to um, kind of like open laterally, like like go, you know, like this way instead. Okay? Because um, there are a lot of uh, like fascia that are oriented this way. So, you know, when you do things like this, it kind of flattens the foot out a little bit. Okay. But, um, uh, you know, those are just some ideas for how to work on the sole of the foot. Okay. Then I go back to um, the top of the foot. So what I do is I put my thumb into uh, stomach 41, which is um, on basically on the front of this ankle joint between these two tendons. Okay. So right, right there, I put like my left thumb into stomach 41, and with my other hand, I just dorsiflex the foot back. What's the stomach 41 doing in particular? Um, it, it's just it's just a um, point to help to open up the ankle joint you know, mm -hmm. as we do this thing. And then after that, um, I'm gonna work on the top of the foot or the you know the front or top. Or some people think of this as the back of the foot. Um, anyway, what's dorsiflex mean? Dorsiflex, like flex towards, yeah. Flex towards the back. That that's why it gets confusing. You know, some really, but like inversion. Inversion is when you turn the sole inward this way, and eversion is when you turn the sole out. So, so inversion and eversion. Okay. All right. Going back to um, working the top of the foot. So one thing that I do is um, I try to work between the the tendons on the top of on the top of the foot. So. With my left hand, I kind of like separate the toes out a little bit, and I start, excuse me, kind of close to the web margin of the of the toes, and then I just work kind of with a um, kneading. The hurt? It's interesting. No, no, it's like lots of pressure. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I'm working my way up into that valley between the tendons. Yeah. So right now, this is like the liver liver channel, yeah, like from channel. liver two, liver three, up, up, up as far as you can go. You know, at, at a certain point, the, it becomes too narrow for you to really work between them. But, and you just do that for all of the, um, you know, all of the toes. So separate these toes and then work between. You feel the channel going. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you can feel that. 